<laughs> if you've got stepped on jeans. <laughs> I used to want to create that look yeah. so bad for myself. <laughs> of like stepped yeah. on. I remember I had shoes that like they finally started going to the bottom of my shoes. And I was like, thank fucking God. Yeah. I can finally wear the bottoms of my You were pants. so afraid of your pants being too short that you went way too long. I, I, it was I just, terrifying to have pants too short. Having chewed Floods? up jean legs was the coolest shit in the world you do. Yeah. When I was in like fourth grade, I just would see that in just an absolute awe of like, damn, that fucking rules. Yeah, yeah, having your pants too short is a sign of a broken home. Too short? Yeah, you're you're wearing hand me downs that are too small for you. Yeah, mm. but going long and chewing up the bottom of your yeah. shoes, or going and that chewing the bottom of your too. jeans, it's a lot of that's a lot of broken home stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't know well, that I, ever I, in my life I've had a pair of pants that went the right length. <laughs> it was out of my control as a kid and then i didn't learn how to dress good ever yeah. <laughs> i have a, i have two suits that i got and then i just fucked up and they, they're floods and i was like Brittany, these are floods and she was like no that's like how they're supposed to look i'm like i look like a dumbass <laughs> yeah. the only two suits the fucking <laughs> pants come up so high they reveal my socks yeah too long and too short are the opposite i think you want to show some sock true. True. No, true you have to show think, some sock now I think you're right. Sydney, too short is like very, very poor. Poor, yes. Too long is just like more so dysfunctional. Poverty could be involved, but you also it's just just dysfunctional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too long, chewed up jeans. Reasons. Yeah, it's dysfunctionality. Too short shorts or too short pants is like, damn, this guy's like dust bowl poor. Yeah. <laughs> that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> that stinks. <laughs> and I always wore my pants just long enough. Maybe that's why people thought I had a good home. Yeah, it'll happen. It was like just long with a little bit of bagginess. By the book. The, By the book. That's you know textbook I mean? gene length. Yeah. Well, yeah. also, we collectively, everyone got the green light to go baggy as fuck in the 90s. Yeah. Black yeah. dudes and white dudes alike. Wow. It was like everyone's in. Dude, look up, look up like early 2000 gear. It was the baggiest shit in the world. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, look at the diplomats from 2000. Dude, I, I went, I went semi baggy for a little while, but it was just too hard to do the activities that I liked to do on a regular basis. Dude, like it's not dude. easy to climb trees in baggy pants. Uh, I mean, you also have to have. There's a. There's like you can go so baggy that like a loved one's going to stop you. Part of their job in the early 2000s is like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, that's too baggy. Like yeah. Jinkos, I wanted Jinkos so bad, and I, I, was, like, I took my mom to the mall. I was like, I want these pants. So first of all, she's like, I'm not buying you fifty dollars pants. Yeah, and she looked at them. She's like, what the fuck are these? I said, Mom, they're the coolest fucking pants. That please. is one. That is one of the things that your parents just pray as a phase. They're like, No, please, God, let this be a phase. Mm -hmm. They think they have to let you like wear it out. You have to walk out of it yourself. But Dude. if they're like, Those jeans are too baggy, you start going, Whatever, and putting headphones on, and then you, like it extends. The, <laughs> it extends how long you. How wear baggy, the baggy is pants. that? That's a diplomat. Yeah. Look how fucking baggy they are. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. shit fucking ruled. I was tortured by that. I would see that. I would see that. Then yeah. you see like Jinko wearing Baggy skaters. clothes was very shut up mom and dad energy. And that's what <laughs> we were all about. Yeah, that's what we were about in the 90s, dude. For sure. It was all shut up mom and yeah, dad. Yeah, it was. I think Grown ups weren't shit when I was a kid. No, oh, no, they were the Fuck worst. That. They were the enemies I, of fun in everything yeah. we watched. Bro. No one respected adults, even the good kids. This was yeah. like, remember these? The, yeah, the bad kids were like, suck Jinkos. my dick adults. And the nerds were like. That was like. Wait, there's a ad the, yeah, the nerds were like, parents don't know shit. <laughs> Holy shit. That's what happened. That's yeah. what white dudes did. Yeah, that's that IRL. Everyone, Simpson, for some reason, just wore the largest mm. clothes they could get their hands on. Isn't that funny? It was it was powerful stuff. In the early 2000s, everyone was like, I need more fabric around me. And just fully fucking flooded themselves in fabric. Bubble mm -hmm. And then just stopped instantly. It was like, all right, no more of that. Just, that's yeah. so fucking weird how that shit catches on. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of stayed out of the 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 fluctuating size of clothes. I also thought it was kind of brave. I thought it was kind of brave when a dude looked like he was wearing like a denim wizard costume. <laughs> I would always be like, "Wow, that's pretty extreme." <laughs> like you guy, you just showed like that was an extreme, you know? Yeah, I mean, dude, it's normal. Dudes were just trying to completely hide their form. Yeah, true. That's all you're doing. It was gay to show your human form true. at all. <laughs> we were like Muslim. If anyone women. saw your figure, you first of all, you were either fat or it was gay to show your figure. That was that was our Muslim women outfit back then. <laughs> we were fully garbed up. Yeah. It's absolutely true. Yeah. Dude, I uh I got geeked out. Do you ever so now I'm not talking about outer space, but do you ever like get into space itself? Space the element. <laughs> it, I got fucked up on it the other day because space is inherently infinite. It has to be infinite. Okay. Because if you end space, what does it end at? And it's just more space. What's the opposite of space? That's I mean, what happens at the void, end. Void? Void? 
No. No, I matter. Think, I think void is like no, diet if, space. No, if there's matter, there's space to hold matter. If there's matter, there's space to hold that. Yeah, matter, matter goes inside of space. Yes, exactly. And is never destroyed. Matter lives, matter and energy is lives forever. Dude, if, if space if is space, infinite. If space goes on forever, then it wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to name it. It would just be the concept of everything. Space Here, has... A that's limit. what space is. No. That's what space is, dude. No. <laughs> dude, it, I'm telling you, I got name, so You wouldn't be able to space. put a word to it. You have to name... If you name it, then you've, in, then you've put a limitation on it. So this, you're, now you're sounding very Eastern. That's what the Easterns were like. Yeah, obviously there's space, but well, here's the thing. So if space is space by its own definition, there is space. We agree. Where does it end? It can't. It can't fucking end. Space can't Why? end. Because what would it end up? What would it be encapsulated by? I don't but know. But that's what I'm saying. Space. It, to, it, it can't would, fucking end, dude. Yeah, but it would have to be, in a sense, it would have to be filled. Like the space would have to be fi- filled in order for there to be no space. Yeah. And like I get that you can't fill it, but if space goes on so far that there's like nothing in it, then it's like that's made up. I'll believe that when I see it. Yeah, but it, by by its own nature, it can't be. It can't have an edge. It's infinite. If you say so, dude. I guess but we'll just agree thing. to disagree. But you know why this doesn't make sense within our obviously material paradigm we find ourselves in right now? Know where this would make sense in a dream. I was. That's why I didn't that, take a nap today. <laughs> that seems like a. <laughs> that seems like such a cop out to me. It's not a cop out. No. It's just that's dream logic, but. It's it's the physical built of the universe. Wait, wait. That's uh, what a, what an insult you've just levied at me. What? Dude. I'm a dream thinker? I didn't say I'm a dream thinker. No, you're saying that I though you're saying yeah, you could be right if we were dreaming. You're basically saying in your dreams. <laughs> What's that about, dude? No, no. I thought we were just sharing yeah. ideas like that. I don't well, know if we start insulting you each other. Yeah, yeah, you took yeah, a slide. You took a slight. Let me tell you what I saw. Loud and clear. What I, what I saw was Matt saying that his theory, while it's difficult to understand. Mine and Kant, go on. In, during consciousness, <laughs> yeah. in your dreams, it can make sense. Like you can't really make sense of this right now during so consciousness, saying. but in your mm. dreams, in, which is. But again, I was high complimenting you saying you were what you were describing was an Eastern perspective. Oh, yeah. High compliment. Okay, well, it just didn't come off that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a high but, compliment. Okay, dude, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's Butterly's hood nature coming out. Like, yeah. he didn't quite understand what you were saying, so he took it as an insult. Yeah. Are you being a fucking dickhead to me right now, dude? <laughs> Why are you be, Is this some kind of sending horse shit? That's crazy. Yeah. I think you just called me a pussy and I don't like it. No, it was literally a com- it was a high compliment. I mean, like, you're stretching now you've encountered the limits of materiality and you're bringing it into a Yeah, but I, this this what I'm saying, from a sci-fi perspective if you're if you're trying to solve that situation, if you're yeah. trying to like how do you end space, you have to fill it. Well, the the theoretical end of space has to be matter because he, you can't fill it with anything that But what you're saying, exist. how do you end space is to fill it. That's just creating more space, bro. That's that's a that's that's making the darkness on the RPG map just grow <coughs> into little shrubs and stuff. But that's I mean according to how you're according to what you're saying like how could it be otherwise? How could you have a limit? How could you have a limit on space? <coughs> it can't by its own definition unless we completely have no idea how space actually works. Oh, I think that's very likely though. True, but what uh, what could be the other possibility? Hmm. That's what I say. What what how like how else could it work? I don't know. <laughs> we have to figure out space, dude. What, what, so, what is your most uh, pressing issue about space? Our fundamental understanding of the universe <laughs> is that there is things called matter in space. Mm-hmm. So if, it, it, it's fucked up to think that we com- we're completely perceiving the universe totally wrong, which we probably are. You're right, buddy. But it's like I always go, where? What are we missing? And you think it's space? Yeah. Imagine being like the 1400s and then being like, I'm pretty sure this is retarded, and then. There, you like to be no like, dude. This is definitely not the case. So I'm I'm curious what what's going to be the thing that completely reconceptualizes our understandings of physics in the universe. Hmm. Oh yeah, I guess it does get turned upside down every couple hundred years. Well, dude, this is right? the, we've been op- we've been flying on this forever, like teaching science no problem. But it's like, please, someone explain to me a thing about space. I've been so fucked up about it. <laughs> yeah, I've dude. been thinking about this nonstop. So I, w- I was I was thinking about this the other day. <laughs> wow, why science is so weakly reliable anymore, mm-hmm. right? And the way it got kind of corrupt. So. Uh, it, there was a time when science was like thicker because the way you learn science was by recreating science. 
you know what I mean? Like experiments, you're saying? Yeah, and it, yeah, and it's right. not done to the same level like it was before because they were on the ground fo- floor of the experiments that led people to their conclusions. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, they talking about like dudes dropping apples out of windows and shit. Yeah, I mean, even like uh, like in the uh, like there's like the, it, the internet makes makes the uh, the teaching of science a little more difficult because it gets diluted. I hear you. So saying. I didn't. I hear I, saying, we didn't yeah. have the internet. There's so many fucking studies and shit. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. we were doing the basic experiments growing up yeah. that led to penicillin. Like we put shit in right. and we we learned that. Yeah. You know what I mean? We that doesn't really happen as much in schools anymore. They're not doing the base of science to get an understanding of science. They're not actually doing science from the ground floor. I hear what you're They're starting at like well, we have computers. It's abstract. You know what I mean? So the everything that led up to that, they have no concept of. Yeah. Right? Only through the telling of information, not through like the hands on experience of recreating those experiments. It's a fair point. That is a fair point. Yeah. I didn't do any lab stuff. I don't think school. I ever did an experiment. Dude, I didn't do any lab stuff. So I went to a Catholic school. And yeah. then I got I went to college in biology and I was in a lab and they were, they were like, yo, grab the ball. And I was like, dude, dude. I've never touched science. Yo, it's in my so life. insane that we had an hour a day of religion class. Bro, I <laughs> it's class, so nuts. It's dude. so tight though, dude. <laughs> I fucking loved religion class so much. Oh man. It's crazy. Religion class, but also how nice would it have been to get actual useful religion class rather than being like, you know how we all believe this thing? And someone raised their hand and they're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you fucking believe that shit or you're fucking everyone hates you. And you're like, yeah, hey. I have no concept of what religion class is like in Dude. high school. Dude, it's so I didn't weird. have it in high school, but I had it. Oh, religion class in high school gets a little more. They, get, they kind of open it up a little bit. Okay, so what was it like in middle school then? Is that is that where it's the most... Potent? So, I didn't, dude, I didn't have a middle school. I had Catholic grade school, which is yeah. K through eight. Or, yeah, yeah, K through eight, essentially. Yeah. So I've always been mystified, but, like, it's such a so good idea. So, you went from elementary school to high school? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Basically. It's not elementary crazy. school, dude. It's grade school. It's grade school, dude. You went to grade yeah, school. Yeah, but I'm sorry. If you have kindergartners there, that's school. elementary dude, school. It's grade school. They're school. your prayer partners, dude. They are your prayer partners. <laughs> <laughs> you have prayer partners. You're an eighth grader. You get a first grader. You both stare at each yeah. other blankly and then just go to the first Friday mass together. Yeah. I had a prayer partner, yeah. and I remember just looking at his feet being like, are my feet going to get this big? Dude. While yeah. people were like, la, 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 la. I was like, dude, this guy's feet are huge, and this is kind of fucking cool. I remember, <laughs> dude, I remember I we had such big dorks in seventh grade that it was crazy <laughs> watching them get paired up with a second grader that would like was considered cooler than them in school. That even that existed, that, dude. Of course it did. That's crazy. I had a. You'd have like like second grade junior wiggers like clowning on you for being a fat pussy in seventh what? grade. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. That would be de- I just never in my life it was awesome it was pure just like from what I saw was just like just a bunch of second graders in pure awe of just like mm. whoa <laughs> yeah. I was in total awe I sat next to an eighth grader and was just like yeah this is fu-. it was pure like uh, the parents from Muppet Babies there was no head I don't think I saw this guy's <laughs> face I just saw like his legs and was just like I'm with an older yeah. person right now and just sit by him and be like this fucking rules yeah, yeah. Uh, Finn's uh, when Finn was going to uh, Haverford school, mm-hmm. they they do that. The same. It's a private school that goes yeah. from like actually goes from fucking daycare, like early age daycare, all the way through high school. Damn, fuck. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty sick. I mean, but it, and so they would like pair older kids up with younger kids and stuff. But again, uh, like religion class just seems like. That would have been like I went to a public school my whole entire life. That would have like parents would have been up in arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You People know? got pissed about that. Yeah. Nah, dude. It was like we practiced getting the Eucharist. Mm-hmm. We had practice with pretzels. Rehearsals. I mean, they, they, it was like they, it was so set up to have. Did anybody stoked. ever take it to the next level, dude? Was, I that, did, was there an and one Eucharist, dude? I'm not. I'm not bragging. But I was in second grade. I thought it was so funny. Yes, when I saw the old people go and stick their tongue out, I'd made my teacher put a pretzel in my mouth. <laughs> and then I received the communion that day with my tongue. My heart was beating like 130 beats a minute. And I was like, I'm going for the bit. And I was like, and I stuck my tongue out. And we I was all like, did it. I was just the funniest shit in the fucking world. This is the funniest shit to me yeah. in the world. The fact that old ladies yell, ah, and stick their tongue out. And people put it in their mouth. In second grade, I'm like, that's genius. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I stuck yeah. with it. That was. It's more holy when you get the body of Christ fed to your mouth and you never even touch it. It's never soiled. Did by you your beg hands. for the wine? Were you like, yo? Oh yeah. Hey, Miss Clifton. My mom said, can we I have can... the wine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like what? How did you? What, My mom said it's okay if I have the wine. So. <laughs> like what is the what is the type of rebellion that pisses off a teacher in religious class? Ask you if you were asked. No, but I nobody to my recollection. It, depends, asked well, it also depends if you had a nun or a lay teacher. Yeah, true. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. What the fuck? So, <laughs> some of sometimes your fuck? teacher was a nun. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. And you didn't change classes. You didn't go to like history class. You no. didn't go. To, like, it was, you just sat in one room all day, <laughs> and a nun was like, "Okay." And now it is time for social studies. Yeah, and they do pull out that. different books from your book. Did they ever? Desk. Did they ever like linger too long on one subject, not do enough bell. time? Oh no, not, we didn't have a bell. They would just look at the time and be like. <sighs> All right, it's time for recess, guys. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> Get yeah. out. Well, the, or if you like ran long on something, like we need to finish this up because if you do that, then yeah, yeah. more homework. So, but okay, yeah, so did, so we switched classes all I know. along. Yeah. So we had people that dude, like, every time I watch fucking school shit, I see people in their lockers in between oh classes. Oh my yeah. God, like, dude. I, I was so that, jealous. I was so <laughs> jealous. <laughs> so wait, so here's my hey, question. Man. Because like, different people would be assholes in different classes. Like there would be like like no, for dude. me like I liked my uh, history teachers a lot of the time so I like shut up and listen yeah I man give them no. any flat Mm-mm. we had a complete profile on every single person we went to school with <laughs> yeah we had it, you could close your eyes and you had a perfect <laughs> representation of them in your imagination and you just I mean if if yeah. you were in a feud with somebody you had everything about their life to use against them like it was yeah it was so intimate for eight and years weird. it was you and just yeah. like. You were in school with someone as a six year old, and then you guys would leave as fourteen yeah. year olds. You knew twenty nine children. Yes, where you you knew who died in their family, what like who's been arrested, whose brother overdosed, who got shot, and it was just if anyone ever went to war, it was it was atomic from the from the get go. Yeah, it was nuts. See, that's crazy because we have familiarity because we did kind of go through school with each other, but. One year you wouldn't be in class with a person, the next year you would, or some classes you'd be have with certain people, and some classes you didn't have Dude. with certain people. So it was like this glancing idea of what people were like, mm-hmm. but it was only from like the persona they put out in school. Yeah, like no. there was nothing. Yeah. I, I feel like that. in our system, you got locked into like who you are at an early <laughs> age, and you get kind of forced into because it's just that's people's reaction to you, kind of like dictate. Yeah, yeah, how you are, and it just solidifies. It's crazy. Dude, I went it, like I, hardens for six years. I had every single class with my cousin. <laughs> yeah. Me and my cousin were in every single class together for six years, mm-hmm. nonstop. Dude. That's insane. Like, like joining forces against teachers and shit. It would be like, yo, fuck this lady. It'd be, it would be fully on. <clears throat> so, it was like, me and two of my boys would be like, yo, this lady's a bitch. Fuck this lady. What was we it? Would just be dickheads. What was it better to have though? A nun or what was it? What was the other person? Called? Nuns were fucking weird. I only had a nun principal, yeah. um, but she did. They, I had a nun principal hit me in first grade. Sick. Pretty tight. I think I had step brothers that were in my class. So did you? for a good yeah, for a good chunk of years. How were they? Uh, from a public school perspective, Wi- the wildest boys. Yeah, yeah, they true. Were, they were probably the wildest. Boys Imagine getting a bro time. linked to you. Like you're just all of a sudden you're just like, yo, this is my bro now. You guys are like, yo, you rule, big. You yeah. fucking rule too, dude. I mean, it is a movie step brothers. Yeah, a from, real life. Version. From a public uh, public school perspective, uh, the idea of like being so bad that a nun had to hit you was like the ultimate in childhood rebellion. I mean, it was okay. a bus drill. It couldn't be a bigger It was a bus drill. I, I jumped there. out as hard as I could. Yeah. Onto somebody. Yeah. So when she intervened, mm. she smacked me. <laughs> remember yeah. when the bus would stop, and like everybody stand up and jump out the back, and you're like, dude, this is going to fucking rule. I can't fucking. <laughs> Did you have bus drills? <laughs> no. We had bus fire drills. No. Dude, like once a year. They, well, everyone everybody. in my school was walking distance to it. We had the buses, and we yeah. had it once a year, pretend it was on fire, and we got to jump out of the back, and the older kids caught us. And I saw a kid in my grade, and I jumped beyond the older kids and landed on him and took him down. Mm. And a principal picked me up and smacked me on the butt. That's awesome. Dude. It was so tight. I'm so, I did the right thing. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna like jump for it. Was yeah. I get well, I did, that, they made the mistake of teaching you about martyrdom at an early age, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I, I had an I finally I'd watched so much from the top ropes, and I was like, holy shit, yeah. I'm actually on the top ropes right now. Yeah, and yeah. I top roped a dude, and they they were and like, you would Bro. die for a laugh. You would die for a bit. <laughs> since yeah, I was guaranteed. Like, since I was like six years old, dude. Yeah, yeah. I always had a fantasy of being the kid that, like, when all the kids are walking into class and like there's a nun teacher and like her head is down for most of the people, but then when I walk in, she pops up and follows me with her eyes <coughs> just to let me know she's got her eye on me. Like, oh, that would be tight. Dude, that was like that. Like, that was my idea of like Catholic. I think school. I had. I don't think I had any nun teachers. I think I only I had priests when I was in high school, but it was like just the, we had a nun principal and she was. Not fucking around. I remember getting hit yeah. by her and just like not even phasing, just being like, ha ha, 
And it's been like, that was so funny. I jumped on Matt's sites, dude. <laughs> That's so sick. Dude, anyone's name from your childhood, by the way, sounds hilarious. If you just say their full name, it's yeah. just like, <laughs> it sounds so funny. Yeah. But yeah, I could see your fantasy, dude, of having her like a, a nun's eyebrow raise yeah. while you walk in. Yeah. Like, hmm. Dude, it's just well, like. because you had like a bad older brother or something. Yeah. I had a little bit of that. True. Yeah, we, I had two years in high school. Where I had the exact same people in my classes, and we developed such a tight bond. Yeah, it was crazy. Two years, I could not imagine the whole time, dude. That's insane. Dude, we used to organize the whole, so the eighth graders in my grade school had a thing, or as a tradition, nobody would come inside for recess towards the end of the year. All the eighth graders would be like, "Fuck this, we're staying outside and playing all day." And the, the school administration was powerless against it. And then all, everyone would stay outside. I remember as a youngster, I would be like, dude, I'm staying outside with the eighth graders. I'm not going back into class. And the deal was you would just get a detention. And we did it every year. Yeah. So we'd be like, fuck it. It was, it was like in May. And we'd be like, we're all staying outside. And we'd all run by the classrooms. It was so fun. That's crazy. And then we would just get a detention. And then it was all your boys in detention. <laughs> That's so crazy. Back when they, because in Catholic grade school too, towards the end of the year, there was like a final like six, like if you... There wasn't enough snow days. They were done teaching contractually. Yeah. So yeah. they would put all the tables and chairs against the side of the wall and everyone would chill on the floor for like six days. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. In the very beginning of May, like towards the yeah. end of May, you were always just focused on not sweating that <laughs> yeah. you, got all, you got all the windows open and the fans, fucking, the big like industrial fans cranked. <laughs> yeah. Just and you would sit on the, the floor. air around the room. Yeah. You just sit on the floor. Everyone's like, shirts are like yeah. halfway on button. Just like, oh my fucking and God. And they like maybe yeah. put on a movie and you would just yeah. be like, fuck. That was like the shit. Oh, Before, you kept the lights off. You watch the movie, yeah. so you keep the lights off. So it'd be cool. Yeah, we just had ceiling day. fans. My grade school was just ceiling yeah, fans. Ooh, and I, used yeah. to, I used to walk Man. by them and turn them off. I would go. I, would, I saw the box, and I would turn off all the classroom ceiling fans and go to the bathroom. Dude, our detentions were so fucking tense because you didn't know who in detention was like a slip up and might be a snitch. Yeah, because some people got detention because they would be like late two times in a row, but they'd be mm. good kids. But circumstances, you run into a little, lifer who will do anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's yeah, fucked yeah, yeah. up, dude. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. yeah you couldn't like you couldn't really you get turned out dude yeah, I, had, you, I got snitched on plenty of times because like if you, yeah, if, you be if, careful. The, if the detention room is like fucking up uh and they don't know who did it yeah the tension gets longer for everybody but if you rat a person out yeah. well now only that person suffers and so you don't know who's in there you know accident you know what i mean it's Sid. like who shouldn't be there let me give you a taste of the good life so we all we did we did the student walkout <laughs> We're not, it was like a walkout. We just never came in from recess. So it was my older cousins were in eighth grade. So I, I'm first of all, I'm younger cousin. My older cousin was like, that was nasty. You guys stayed outside with us. I was like, yes, dude, thank you so much. And then we got to go to detention with me and my cousin got to go to detention with my older cousin and all of his friends. And there was, the detention was so overpopulated that some of us had to sit in the hallway. And so I had to sit in the hallway and me and I think one other person went down and raided this like school pantry, Holy like shit. the shit they used to sell, like Dunkaroos, all yeah. this stuff. And we're sliding, taking copy books and putting like snacks on them and sliding them down the hallway into the detention where people were disseminating snacks. And it was like, I've never been happier in my life yeah. than like going and sliding snacks. Like, dude. They, they were like, you sit at fourth grade, you sit at fifth grade. So we were like 30 feet apart and just going like, whoosh, and just yeah. sending dunkaroos. And you'd like looked into your room and like cr scuttle down the hallway, grab the dunks. <laughs> Dude, it was so fucking fun. Uh, I was made for prison. I really was. Yeah. I was made to be in prison. <laughs> like I would fucking thrive. Damn. I would thrive in jail. That, that would not yeah. have been able to happen in my detention. Because was, there was not enough people there. Yeah. And no, it, they, didn't, they, they don't pay Catholic school teachers shit. Yeah, they were all lifers though. I don't remember many teacher changes during my entire eight years. No, nah, dude, it was it was a big deal when one of them. Yeah, yeah. one of them left. It was it was Hogwarts. Our dude. teacher left. Our seventh grade teacher quit halfway through the year. Yeah. Well, actually, no. I think she was walking her dog and got pulled into a tree and got injured. And when she came <laughs> back, it was just <laughs> sorry, dude. <laughs> sorry. She the way she described her dog, it sounded like she was walking Scooby Doo and he was pulling her really hard, and she got like <laughs> psh, bung onto a tree. <laughs> And uh, she was out for a little bit, and um, dude, I, I think we had a nice substitute while she was gone. And then oh, when she she yes. tried to come back for a little bit, and it was just like every day she was just at her desk, like completely shell shocked. She looked like Cruella Deville. Yeah, <laughs> she just sat at her desk with just like seventy year old lady shiny makeup on. It was just like yeah. I can't do this anymore. Yeah, dude, you didn't realize she was gone forever. I mean, dude, for some reason there was teachers who actually liked being teachers and were nice and sweet. I was always so good in their class. They mm -hmm. were just angels, dude. 
But then it was either that or a lady facing an acute life crisis would be your teacher. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Most of your teachers are lady and ladies in like serious existential distress. Yeah. And that's that's like it was just fucked up. That's what and I, I would just fucking completely every time I sense that, I would just be like, fuck this lady, and I would just make her problems so bad. <laughs> you know, it was like the early years of my life. It's like I don't know what about there's something about this lady I don't fucking like and I'm not listening to her. Yeah. Well yeah. we had a lady who in my mind she looked like Ursula. This is my fifth grade teacher. In in reality, she was kind of a nice lady, but I think she purposely made herself like she looked like uh like Ursula or like and Mimi from like the Drew Carey show combined. Like she was a big, big, like dark makeup lady. Yeah. Just a, like a fat lady with dark, like curl bobbed hair. And it fat was ladies like, can thrive dude, in grade school. She had the right. darkest energy mm-hmm. I've, ed- I've ever <laughs> felt. I spent, I went from like first grade looking at her as the fifth grade teacher. Like I would see her in the hallway. I would be like, that's the scariest person I've ever seen. <laughs> and I spent every day thinking about the day I'd get to fifth grade and she'd have to be my teacher. No. Just in fucking absolute terror. I never talked to anybody about it. I don't know if any of the other kids Dude. felt that way, but it felt like I was being fed into a wood chip. Bro, we a had woman. a fourth grade. Yeah, each year I, getting closer. Oh, yeah. That was a fucked up thing. You were you were bound to one lady for you. You're like an indentured servant to one lady with borderline personality disorder for yeah, a year. Dude. <laughs> for a year, dude. You're like her slave. Dude, I remember I one time. I had a fourth time. grade teacher that was like a like a opposite. She was like a skeletal bitch, dude. And I was terrified of her. She would spit and yell at people. And I would see her in the same thing. See her and be like, I got two more years before I got to do a fucking dude. full year with her. And that's going to be a fucking nightmare. Oh, my God. When I finally had this lady as a teacher, <laughs> she fucking, there was a number of bizarre things happened. Um, but one of them was uh, she got into a habit of like clearing clearing out the desks to the side of the room and then bringing in a record player and playing either uh, these boots are made for walking <laughs> or it's raining men and making us do like a, like a synchronized dance to them. Dude, and, and, and dude, and dude she, she was just handling a terrible adult breakup. Yeah. She had just handled a terrible adult breakup. Yeah. That's all that happened. And you guys had to do it's raining men. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, oh, it's terrifying. Since you weren't doing like schoolwork, you'd be like, yes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> How fucked up is that? <laughs> so you did you, you would, you would work your hips, dude, because you were so pumped to not be doing social Wait, studies. So, like, oh, so social studies, they pick social studies for <laughs> or like whatever. I have no fucking if these clue. Boots are I never well, understood how confu- that's I never understood the structure oh, of school does, as a yeah. child. Yeah. I never I, once got I, comfortable. I can't understand it now. Do you mean you were an angry mob? Insane. So there's a lot of implicit rewards too. They'd be like, "Hey guys, that's enough social studies for today," and you'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's fucking let's dance." And you'd be like, yeah. "Okay." So they'd end social studies a little early. Yeah, and everybody it depends on the teacher. They were constantly, yeah. dude. You were the angry mob. Yeah. So right. and they were they were in Versailles, dude. They were the fat cat aristocrats, dude. And they were just fucking. And you were all day like. <laughs> This fucking sucks. And they'd start being like, all right, guys, I get yeah. it. This oh, guess what? Boring. We're going to a water park. Everyone get your permission slips on. Dude, so they, they our, were, they our were teacher, constantly letting the air out of a rebellion. Dude, our teacher took times. us to like five practices for the flyers. Yeah. Whoa. Somehow justified it. It was like, this is important. All of our parents were like, whatever. I fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Just sign a permission slip. Don't give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. It's like, mm. go wherever the fuck you want. Yeah. Here's mm. the, here's the thirty five dollars. Did it cost money to go on trips, or did you guys was I it paying? So yeah, it, it was yeah. It would be like you'd have to. It was like a copay. Like Twelve bucks. It was like a yeah. trip copay. It was like twelve <laughs> bucks. You had to go like shake your parents down for twelve bucks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Man, <laughs> our, our field trips were fucking expensive. We had to pay for all of the field trip, our fucking spot on the bus, or f- like they would give us a stipend for food, but we paid into that really like it was like our our field trips were like 75 we didn't really go that. anywhere though i don't think i can't think of anywhere we really went we, i know we went to flyers practice clemenson park liberty bell uh, yeah we did the Liberty okay. house yeah we did that um the borse building one time for some yeah. reason which is just like an office building with a food court did you guys do no the idea what power that was plant about. ever no no dude we went to the nuclear power plant Ooh, every fucking awesome. year that's tight until like ninth i so in high school every room we were like oh, this yeah. is just like the golden eye level yeah <laughs> this is so cool dude, that kind of rules <laughs> wow yeah, that's so realistic shit. dude that they had that in the level that's nice <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are metal bridges in industrial settings whoa 
Yeah. Man, I would shoot him in the penis and he would like lean over. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. jump and clank the floors. You're like, just like in real life. Whoa. Dude, too. That, <laughs> and they do have like those windows that are like big windows, but they like, oh, like the wall is like a foot off the ground. So you can like army oh, crawl right dude. under, the, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. There's, there's, <laughs> those are pretty fun. I still go into settings where I'm like, this is pretty James Bond. Yeah. I like mm-hmm. being in a place where it's industrial. I'm like, this actually, do- I still do that. Oh, like, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I love There's when a, a warehouse. I love windows. when a warehouse looks like uh, like a warehouse that you'd see in like a, a Batman street fight, dude. <laughs> like a, <laughs> I, it's the one thing I'm truly working my working my tail off is to own a warehouse. I want a warehouse so bad. Ooh, yeah. What do you want to What do you want to house in it? Just it's what fantasy, wears Fantasy, fantasy like Factory, dude. It's oh, absolute chaos. Wow. Dude. I just want a fun warehouse. I want a warehouse. We should get into. That's we have that's to get into <laughs> trick shots. Yeah. <laughs> if we got into first of all, if we got. Really nasty at trick True. shots, and we up we we went against Dude Perfect. People would like us so much more; they wouldn't care that the trick shots weren't as good. They'd be like, "Wow, those guys! I think I like them better anyway." You're you're pretty right about that. Mm-hmm. I think. I think if we go, if we first of all, if we re- redirect most of our energy into getting nasty at trick shots and making sick videos about it, I ha- I guarantee you, hundred thousand dollars a year. Almost I mean, instantly. you're hundred. You're de- you're definitely right, dude. My parents have yeah, a pool. We, I'm could, ready. we could practice yeah. trick shots. I don't get ready. I dude, stay ready. Dude, we a can, large part of my life listen, is trick shots. We can act like we're above the algorithm and like that's cool, but it's getting us nowhere. True. We need. It's time to fully submit to the algorithm <laughs> and become. <laughs> All right, we'll have to. Do, I mean, right now we have two things on our live trip docket. It would be creature storm, summoning squirrels versus seeing how large of a creature storm we can get, and then we need to get one trick shot, dude. Yeah, we need yeah. to get one trick shot going somewhere. Mm-hmm. Where all three of us make it at the same time. Something, dude. We'll make it big. If yeah. we spend an entire day coming up with a trick shot, this we could take know. a week or two. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. True. A also, week or two of full time attempts with no distractions. Let's get some suggestions too. If you guys are out there and you want to give yeah. us some ideas, some yeah, I like that. That would be fun to do a trick shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be a fun day. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. dudes, we should all also do Ninja Warrior together. Dude, did you ever fucking do a Ninja Warrior horse? Yes. They are so fucking hard. Way harder than you think it's going to be. I went to Sky Zone. I'm like, I'm going to fly through this. Right through that. I was like, the first first thing I was like, uh, I'm jumping to this phone pit, but I'll be next. Immediately. Dude, it's so fucking Immediately. hard. Immediately. I will always watch that being like, come on. Anyone who doesn't ring the bell, I'm like, come on, dude. Mm-hmm. I did a Ninja Warrior course. I'm like, this is like, turns out you need to do, you need to be able to do more than like four pull-ups to do an American <laughs> Ninja Warrior course. <laughs> I was like, yes. oh, okay. That's pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, as soon as I see someone like even just holding on with their hands, I'm like, I'd be, I, that's it. It'd I had the opposite, right dude. There. I was like, oh, I'd fucking. You're yeah. crazy. I Especially to, when you see people that seem out of shape doing it. You're like. Dude, we can go. The Sky be. Zone has an American Ninja Warrior course. We can pra- We can train. Yeah. The one okay. in New Jersey has an American Ninja Warrior course, and it's fucking hard, dude. We could train or test ourselves on it and see how we do. That'd be tight. Yeah, at least get a benchmark and then see what we can improve. That would be yeah. tight. God, what a commitment that would be. Just to constantly check ourselves on the American Ninja Warrior course just so people could see, like, dude, we're not fucking uh, around here. I'm in no, this, but we're like, not I fucking need, around. Like, quarterly time. reviews on the American yeah. Ninja Warrior course that are filmed and captured. I'd be, cu- I'd be curious to yeah, see what's up. I need time up. for my knee to heal up, and then, yeah, I'm 100%. True. In. Yeah, I'm down. Dude, we, we can definitely bring a camera. Into, I, I'm sure I can talk to people at Sky Zone and be like, yo, we're going to bring a camera. We're going to come early. We're running a ninja course. What's good? <laughs> we could do this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wield enough power in the world at this point to get into Sky Zone. I think. I think. I might run into an absolute buzzsaw, but I think. I think that's within my realm. Dude, that's a good test of your power. Dude, I like just dawned on me. I'm like, wait, you could totally these have owners that you could talk to. Yeah. I like talked I like thought about the fact I'm like, I could maybe use a sky zone outside of normal business hours. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Pretty nuts. Yeah, that's part of realizing that you're in the adult world again. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty tight. But there's, yeah, a, there's a guy that makes these decisions. Yeah, Catholic grade school is fucked, dude. It's yeah. pretty, it's nuts. It's fun, but it's so. Bizarre. It was like when I got to college, people were like hitting me with stuff that I was like, dude, I seriously sat in one room and like threw shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I didn't yeah, learn yeah. anything. Yeah, I had I, entire books I didn't touch. Like I, I, I would like be like, oh, the teacher doesn't check this book. I'm not gonna fucking look at it. Yeah, for years, dude. Grammar never did a grammar workbook. I still to this day, people hit me with certain grammar stuff, and I'm like, dude, I, I didn't learn the rules of grammar. That's pretty wild. Like the fundamental, like this is a this, this is a this clause. I'm like, I have no clue. They, we had, we had a, a handwriting 
uh, workbook in third grade where you had to just like write a, a million cursive cues or like one letter. I rebelled like, against you. I hated cursive, dude. dude. And it was like, I quit halfway through a page of letters one time. And what, what happened case was, cursive of Q quit. she didn't check it every day, but she would check it like eventually. And I never even thought that she might check this book. <laughs> and I guess she, I guess she caught wind. Of You're like, supposed to have like 5,000 pages of S's. Oh yeah. And like, uh, I, it was like, she took them home. And then the next day she was calling everybody <sighs> up to come get them back with like a grade in it, you know, or like no. get the sign of your parents. What was the feeling when she took, and when she dude, collected it, dude? It's I was, My dude. heart was like, no, like she probably took it. She probably took it at the end of the day before that. And I was just like, what? Why would she do that? <laughs> like I went in like slow motion with like that ringing in my ears. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I dropped dude. it on the desk on my way out of class. And then uh, the next day when she gave them back to us, like I watched everybody go up and get theirs. And it was like, dude, my heart started like I my my adrenaline spiked. My fingertips hurt. I remember like I could feel sweat building up in my socks. Dude, the flashbang of having like brass knuckles dude. in your desk and the teacher's like, what do you have? And you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> And you're just like sitting there like, there's got to be a fucking way out of it. It's like, bring it up here now. And you're like, I'm fucked. I am really, that's literally like, I would have jumped out of like a building. And so, like, if that's what you're talking to, like stockbrokers dealt with, I know why they jumped out the window. I'm like 1929 Wall Street crash. You yeah. experiencing that like 45 times of a child. You're like, dude, it's, not. It's, it's fucking over, dude. I'm done. I'm fucking done, dude. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, I wrote faggot in my copy book, and now I have to bring it up to my teacher. And you're just kind of like, "Fuck, man, fuck." Oh, she's about to find out I haven't done a month of homework. <laughs> oh, dude. And then she calls you up, and she goes, "I, I did, this was like not a super mean lady, but she was like older with like pink skin and gray hair, like an old chubby lady with pink skin and like you know like a yeah. ch chin length gray hair, and she she fucking." calls me up to her desk and she's like trembling and she does like a short little throw down oh. on the desk and she goes if you were there when i was looking at this i would have put your head through the wall what yeah and i was just like that's the scariest thing <laughs> <anyone's ever said." laughs> i was in second grade what and she was like i would have put your head through the wall if you were there when i saw this and i was like Okay, I'm sorry, dude. Where, <laughs> what happened to those that generation where they they were where they like saw a fucking you did not, dude. That, you you did not do enough cursive s's, capital s's on on this page. Well, I guess a number of pages, but it was like it inspired a violent reaction. <laughs> yeah, but like where where what happened? What's that lady's yeah. story? When she no didn't idea, see that and be like, yeah, clearly this kid doesn't want to draw a lowercase. Nobody wants to. I don't to know, that. man. She yeah. was teaching That's torture. At, oh, this yeah. one kid didn't torture she, himself? She was teaching at a Catholic school in Southwest Philadelphia. Yeah, I don't true. know if things were really going her way. Yeah, yeah. true. Dude, we had, tortured. We had this teacher named Mr. McAfee. He, he, was, he was the only one that would really instill any sort of physical punishment on people. Tight. And he used to be a football player. He got a really bad injury, so he couldn't turn to the left. He couldn't turn his neck to the left. <sighs> So every time, so people would fuck with him. A lot of people have to get like injured into teaching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So people would fuck with him anytime he was at the board. Everybody would fuck around in class because he had to turn around with oh, his whole entire body. Fuck. And it was just hilarious. I mean, yeah. You know? Did he have a short haircut too? Short-ish, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely short. And uh, Just a buzz cut at guy being like, is fucking so funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's no angrier dude in the world. Yeah. And uh, well, he didn't. He didn't. He wasn't a buzz cut guy. He was, yeah, he he was had just, something closer to what you have right now. So like, to me, that's short. No, yeah, you know I, I hear you're saying. No, yeah, yeah, but so, no, but it wasn't buzz cut energy though. It's different. So what he would do though, he had a little bit of patience. You could tell. Yeah, tiny yeah, bit. Exactly, <laughs> dude. He let it go on long enough. And what he would do when he finally realized who the culprit was, he would he would he would jack them up. He would grab. He would go up and grab them by their collars and jack them up and like pull them out of their. He, he was giant. Yeah, and like lift them up out of their seat. That should be legal though. Getting jacked up should be legal, dude. But he would he would lift them up out in their seat, and their body would kind of like catch in their desk. So he'd lift up them Fuck. in their desk, right? Jack them up, and then when he was done, he would like let go. But with his right hand, he'd like a little hook across the chin. What? It was like it was him swinging his body again. Whoa! He to turn around, but he yeah, exact to to walk away, like punching a doll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So that was fun. No, but watching people get jacked up and check hooked, <laughs> that was pretty sick. And they just, they dealt like schools, like whatever. Damn. So I feel like you still could in the early 90s, like get away with shit like that. Yeah, it was hard to prove that he was hitting them on purpose because he was just like letting them go. Yeah. And it well, I mean, picking them up and dropping them too. Was, yeah. <laughs> apparently that wasn't, that wasn't against the rules. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. a fair yeah, one. Yeah. That's yeah. a fair, like to grab a kid and just fucking hold them up is, I think that is a level of intervention. It's like lifting a cat by the back of its neck. Dude, Dude I, 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 so that, that shit got cracked down on when I was uh, a junior in high school. He was a, a seventh grade teacher. And so now I'm a junior in high school. He was school. in perfect position. Yeah, right? Yeah. So that shit got, he was the first casualty to go. He went immediately. As yeah, soon man. as the world changed and you couldn't put your hands on kids anymore, he was the first teacher. See, I think where they fucked up is like there's ladies taking like serious aggression out on kids. They threw the baby out the bathwater. If you, if today, you could go into a school, like a seventh grader, and just grab him, like, dude, I fucking love you, dude. I'm worried about you so much, dude. You got to knock this stuff off. I'm not letting you go. Yeah. This is not sexual at all. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, you're fucking, I'm worried about you, bro. And like, let go of me. Like, fuck off, dude. I fucking love you. Yeah. I fucking love you so much. You could be so much more, dude. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's because women, though, are mostly populating the teaching profession, and they take shit too far both directions. Yeah. I mean, if a woman teacher. They do be that doing that. Yeah. yeah. But if a woman teacher is doing that to me, I I'd be so bad, dude. <laughs> yeah. You care? Oh. oh. I got some I got some bosomy hugs. Did you? From teachers, yeah. Like I'm when I was teacher like when you guys me. were first start, started talking about teachers, I was like starting to recall teachers and the, the immediately the biggest titties teachers started lining up first. I don't think a teacher ever hugged me in my life. Hmm. No, that'd be weird. Never ever. No, teachers never hugged me. I had a, I had a priest one time take my head and go like that to the chalkboard. So I threatened to give his wife ecstasy, or not his wife. And I, yeah. His, his uh, he had a niece, and I was like, I'm gonna give her ecstasy at the dance and have sex with her. Yeah, he yeah, went, yeah. Boom with my head, and I was like, Yeah, that's probably a bad joke, man. My bad. <laughs> we, <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> we had this one teacher that we always saw like picking her nose, and like she would always hug kid, like she would sit down next to a kid and like give them a, like a, a warm Wiping hug. Boogers on them, right? So that's what we always say that she did. So anytime she got boogie touched, dude, hug, blackout. Dude, the, the class wrestling. would lose it. That was one of the funniest things to see. Somebody That's like being a good boy and getting boogies put on getting them. Getting snot touched, dude. <laughs> that sucks, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But she also had titties. So you'd get that one tit on you. Whoa, you know it's the toll. I mean? You got yeah. to the toll. Dang, worth it. <laughs> yeah. You want to feel a warm side boob on your shoulder. You they should honestly boogies. like be able to like, this, like, slow kid, give kids like 10 minutes of titty time a day. Honestly. I could have used that in grade school just someone just smashing me into their giant tits <laughs> when I was just fucking around all day. So like, come here, bud. And just fucking just jam my fucking fat seventh grade head into just some titties. I would have been like, all right, all right, dude, I'll so chill, I'll chill. My, my f- <laughs> dude, would that not have been a perfect fucking salve? Not like in dude, a gross way. Just be like, just rest on my bosom. That was Almost my like whole entire, maternal. my whole entire fifth grade. I was in my teacher's titties that whole entire year. So because in, in fourth grade, I was hit by a car. And I was out for the whole entire fourth grade. Okay. And I was like, well, like when I, like they finally brought me back into like the last weeks of school. You're back from the And day. I was like in a wheelchair and like the people were cheering for me. So it was like a big deal. So you were what, Degrassi. You were Drake. You were Degrassi. Basically. <laughs> basically. So when I, when I Holy came, shit. when I came back in fifth grade, like the teachers had all this sympathy for me. You know that what makes, I mean? That makes sense. So they were constantly like. Like I overcame something like in real time in front of people's yeah, eyes. Yeah, dude. So like the teacher was constantly like giving me a hug. And that like, makes sense. Yeah, that yeah. It was sense. like nonstop. In this, he almost died. Tense. They were they cried because yeah. they thought you were dead. Yeah, they did. Yeah, the whole school sense. wept. And uh, except for that I motherfucker you- in Atlanta, dude. Where <laughs> are you, dude? I'm gonna fuck you up. I bet you that titty time. As Matt called, I would never use that kind of phrase. <laughs> I bet you that any time that she gave you definitely like uh, stimulated a hormone production inside of your body that aided with your recovery. I get it, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. Definitely. I'm That's pretty like, sure of it. What's that book? You are the placebo. Mm-hmm. It's just titties, dude. I don't know. Actually. Yeah, that, that, that guy Joe Dispenza has a similar origin story where he said his like body was just crushed. Like he like spine like just he like is like level of like physical destruction they were like yeah dude no way you came back from that and he said he just mm-hmm. laid there and just c- kept like reimagining in his spine and like was like putting th- himself together in his head he's like dude i made the Whoa. most speedy I, recovery we've talked about this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's that's what basically what i did i mean because he was probably I, also doing ddp yoga though what's ddp yoga ddp yoga by diamond dallas page <laughs> 
a guy was paralyzed with and his legs didn't work and he fixed his entire shit like really the DDP yeah yoga, the ddp yoga dvds what <laughs> yeah the, you That's gotta wild. get the ddp yoga dvds so he that, might have been because he 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 tells you how to do like very high energy pro wrestler what yeah Dude, uh, the, re- the reason yoga. why that shit doesn't work for most adults is because they developed uh, a knowledge of reality that where that stuff doesn't exist Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So they can't even believe in it enough to even try it. But when you're a kid and that shit happens to you, dude, the sky's the limit, imagination wise. That's true. You know what I mean? So that's that's when that shit can work. That's more true. it's more likely to work. So like this guy, yeah. you know, probably just really fucking believed in yeah. Diamond Dallas Page. Right. Like Diamond oh, Dallas Page would never point. fucking yeah. lie to me. Wow. You know? That's yeah. a very good point. Dude, I've read a thing recently that were saying like when you're emotionally redlined like really angry it's as if on like a cellular level like brain cells especially it's like you're just dumping hydrochloric acid on your brain like it's just melting your fucking if cells. you're pissed yeah it's melting yourself yeah if you're like acutely stressed flight or flight like consistently you're just literally burning brain cells that's why we call it breaking down yeah yeah you're breaking down you're, you're falling apart dude, dude your body's yeah. not made you're not, your body's not structured to be spazzing it's it's structured specifically to kind of chill yeah you're like it'll get it'll burn it like it, you got to burn fuel to spaz but it's like it's your body it's resting state is chilling yeah of being like this rules everything's cool right getting like a healthy amount of vitamin d yes dude i got vitamin d yesterday that's the most just chilling in the sun for at least four hours Two days of yard work with the shirt off. Yeah. Just getting, I mean, inflated. Ansley put me on a quick fix for my sleeping issue. She said if you get 20 minutes of sun before 1130, you can get your body back on a normal sleeping schedule. She just heard or read that somewhere. Dude, I think it's 20 minutes, but you got to have, seven. I think I think at least 70% of your skin exposed. I'll do it. If you need, dude, if you go outside, basically shorts, no shirt for like 30 minutes, you, you absorb them. They say yeah. you absorb yeah. That's I need, the, I think I need four hours. I need four yeah. hours. I, I have I've been trying to get at least some shirtless time outside a day. No, can I ask you guys a question? Are either of you knowledgeable about lawn care? <laughs> yes, actually. Are you for real? Yeah. Hmm. What you want to know? I don't know. I'll give you what I know. I'm by no means a master, but I know a lot. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I think I do. We'll see. I just had to buy a new lawnmower and and weed trimmer, and I'm like, what, am I even doing this right? You know what I'm saying? I don't what, know. I don't know. What you got? You're talking weed whackers. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, what I, dude. I just what's your, what's your we'll, we'll take this off. Get electric? Yeah. No, 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 no. What's your what's your what's this your grass length? What's right your grass length? How how high are you cutting your grass? It's I uh, on the three setting. So it's pretty high, like halfway. Yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, at least you're not burning That's it. Plush. You cut, if you cut it too short, you're going to burn the grass. I used to try to do this out of spite towards my parents. I hated, bur- I hated cutting the grass. Yeah. So I would cut it so low, I'd burn it. And then it, like, it doesn't really grow back. I feel back. like there's weeds on the edges of everything. But that's if like, you what have... What the fuck uh, do you even do about that, you know? That's f- what kind of weeds you're talking. I don't know fucking know. Clover. Some clover. Clovers are nice. Some you just want stuff shit. that's soft. Yeah, true. But so, you, don't, do you, have a, you don't have a gas motor, mower, do you? No, no, no. Yeah, you, all you, battery. Yeah, you burn, it, you burn it with a gas mo- a mower. You're not going to... You don't burn Is that it. what it is? Yeah, because it gets so hot. Ah, if you cut it short. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, because like, you're burning it even when you cut it high. So it's the fumes But there's so saying? much... Le- it's just like, so, like underneath the... Uh, so here, here's why I know this. Because some, well, somebody in my town, yeah. they got caught under a fucking mower. Really yeah. bad accident. Yeah, I say. But... What nobody knew was going to happen. He also had like skin burns from the heat of the motor. Yeah, of course, motor. that makes sense. But I don't think that has to do with. Yeah. No, I think what burns the grass is that it's too short and it can't hold enough moisture to withstand the sun or something like that. Yeah, it's not the heat of the. Did motor. I get it, Noah? Yes, yeah. that's good. Yeah, it's not that guy just got fucking ran over by a lawnmower, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's nothing to do with the law, dude. Yeah. <laughs> they were confused about it. If it was a mystery. <laughs> Where is that why my grass is? Look at that guy's from. leg. Yeah. Fair point, though, but no. You said lawnmower, but he has burns. And this is where the theory <laughs> yeah. first took hold. But here's, but here's the deal. So we, I cut, we cut our... Oh, wait, well, no, we're, our, our grass is shaded by a lot of trees. See? Mm. I'm telling you, man, if you yeah. cut it short, you burn yeah, the lawn. Yeah, yeah, I've done yeah. this. I used to do yeah, it on our, purpose all the time. My dad just told me this. Yeah. Our, 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 yeah. We don't, get the, we don't get a lot of direct sunlight all day long. Yeah. Watch your dog though. Your dog will shred your fucking lawn with its piss. Dog piss fucking <laughs> annihilates lawn. Yeah, I t- I, you know, I'm, it's acidic. I, I'm bro. really good at. Uh, we don't bag the grass. The grass is acidic, and the grass kills the dead grass. Goes super acidic yep. and kills the living grass. I just learned that as yeah. well. Yeah. Got to bag it, bro. We're yeah. raking. Yeah, I, well, my old lawnmower didn't out. even have a good bag. Too. My old yeah. lawnmower spit it all out the side, so yeah. all my grass is just always brown. 
Yeah, just just those long things. Dude, I used to fucking resent my parents. They'd make me bag certain areas. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit. But yeah, you got to bag, bro. Mm-hmm. You got to fucking bag. Yeah. yeah, but I'm just so happy to be using a new machine that I'm just like, I could do this all the live long. It's nice. Do you do you aerate and fertilize or no? Not yet. Aerate, should I? fertilize. Should I? This is, I'm glad I brought this to you. How, I mean, it's all How about do you aerate. You. How do you like your lawn? Because like, aerate, fertilizing, seeding can get into like the realms of like a dude just like just has too hard of a boner in khakis. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all on you. Yeah. But you, you, get, you get to push one of those little spiky things across yeah, your lawn. This can get into like deep yeah. life frustration stuff. Like how deep you want to go? Like super frustrated. I think life I just want grass. like a soft lawn that soft people lawn. want to be. In. So you could probably reseed. Reseeding would be nice. Okay. Just reseed. You know, reseed every couple of years or so. And you aerating is nice too because you open up the. You just have a little thing that's putting holes in, and then you reseed, and then yeah. okay. that pop up. Can he? Can he change the type of grass that he's using? Like, can he? Can he? Can you go to like Whoa, a grass is regional? Grass, grass is regional. Over. You don't want to plant a seed that's not you set want, up for you your don't region. Want Kentucky bluegrass. I don't think that's there's <laughs> that's not no there's there's I bought this I, I wanted bluegrass because it grows it like doesn't it grow like so I don't know little thing <laughs> yeah I bought grass thinking I could grow like grass from a different climate region I was like I want this strain of grass and it was it didn't work out that well mm. so you got to look at it and it'll show you on the map at the back of the seed like this is made for this area what's the good grass for this region. Dude, I'm going to say rye. Look it up. No, I think there's a rye mix. There's some rye going on. Okay. Um, there's a Pennsylvania mix. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Pennsylvania yeah. mix? It's named after here? Yeah, dude. I dude, I, I just had to... Tr- I tried to grow grass recently and failed. That's how I know all this shit. Because my dogs kept... <laughs> a, I never watered it. I, I'm not yeah. disciplined, dude, in that regard. And... My dogs would pee on it, and I wouldn't water it. My grass just, I'm, I'm fucking putting stones there. I'm done. With, I'm, I've given up. I'm yeah. sorry, man. It might, I don't get a lot of sunlight either. Yeah. It's all right. It's, it's fine. It's for the best. It's tough. It's tough when it doesn't get a lot of sunlight. Because, like, the the grass that's, like. Sorry, my the, lawn is as big as this rug, by the way. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's, yeah. That's how much I had it lured over, and it was just like. <laughs> but go ahead. That sucks. Yeah, it sucks. You couldn't even create a little oasis for yourself. Well, it's on the third floor, but, yeah, go ahead. I got, an oasis, I got an oasis going up there, but my backyard oasis was an absolute failure. Mm-hmm. I like brought heavy stones and try to like dig them and put like a stone patio. That's where I gave up. That's like completely given up on. <laughs> visibly given up on. And it's just dog shit. <laughs> and like patches of fucking. Dude, your backyard sucks. It's, an, it's a nightmare. And there's so many mosquitoes. So if you step outside for four seconds, yeah. you're literally swarmed with mosquitoes. But we're going to get, we're get, we got, I'm telling you, we got it. We got it going on. I have resentment towards grass. I used to have to mow like three acres of lawn every week. All was it day, a riding second. mower? Did we talk about this before? It was, a, it was a skag zero turn. Yeah, it was a skag zero turn. Fucking no problem. Yeah. But the uh, but then it was weed whack the entire perimeter and then uh, bag mow the entire perimeter of the house and the pool yard. Which again, I know. Mm. It's very the opulent. pool yard. It's opulent. However, wow. However, I had to maintain the whole thing. It was bad. It sucked having to Someone has it. to. Yeah. I know. And I had to. My brother got it. My brother went grass allergies. So he, Ooh. my brother got out. My other brother was just so old. He was like, "Now nah, I'm done. It's your turn, dude." Wow. I got, I got tricked in a mow when I was in, I think I was ten. I was like, "Yo, that looks sick. Let me do the lawn mower." Wait, did you have a riding mower? We had push yeah. and ride. When I was yeah. younger, I just did the ride. I just when I was younger, I just did push and weed whack. Yeah. And then I finally got to do the riding mower and make this rules. And then there, my dad was like, "You're doing this from now on." As soon as he saw I could, did this do it, take he, you an entire day to do an entire fucking Saturday. Oh man! And I would, all, I would have your reward. Just, I had to do just it. A nice yeah. life. I could just could resume my life. Yeah, exactly. It was, but it was yeah. like I couldn't resume anything until I finished this entire thing. Wow! So I'd do it all day, and then I'd be like, "I'm not doing." We had like the, the septic tank, and I'd be like, "I'm not doing behind the fucking septic tank," because there was there was these like Ew. failed apple trees. There were crab apples, Ew. and they fall on the ground, and just bees would swarm. <laughs> so I had to ride through a swarm of like dilapid, like just shitty <laughs> apple bees funny and to, <laughs> there were just bees on these all these a- and i'd have to like just shoot fucking like mushed dead apples and these hornets would swarm me but there was an area behind our septic tank that i was like i'm not fucking around back there because i didn't have any room to like move and invade bees so i'd always leave it long and my, i would like get showered and be chilling like eating a snack and my dad would be like what are you doing i'm like what and he's like did you do behind the septic tank and i'd be like Dude, come on. He'd be like, get the fuck back out there and clean that. And I'd be like, fuck, dude. So <laughs> shit, freshly showered. I just have to go encounter. It, it was, again, it was, it, was a, it was a fortunate setup. But dude, Jesus Christ, it was so much fucking work every Saturday. Dude, I had, a, I had a fucking weed whack, an area that was a sloped hill. The whole thing. And it'd be like falling. And it was right against the street. It sucked, dude. I hated it. 
I fucking hated it so much <laughs> to the point where I was like, I'm getting a stone backyard. I fucking hate grass. And that's why I think I, I think I subconsciously ne- neglect my grass out of hatred for it. <laughs> and I'm getting, I'm finally getting my dream of just a, just like, I'm just getting rocks back there. That's it. Rocks and a fucking couple like flagstones. That's my backyard. I'm done. I've given up. <laughs> so I've you're been, not the person to talk about lawn care. Too. I know a lot about it though. I've researched yeah, it deeply. His, yeah, his his just his oh, origin God. story is like. I'll tell evil, you how he to has do an it. Evil villain don't. origin yeah. story for grass. You're I hate a grass, grass bad yeah. guy. <laughs> but I know I used to work. For, my cousin was a landscaper, so I'd work with him. So I know a lot of. I know a, a, a fair amount about grass. But dude, it's. I hate fucking maintaining grass. It sucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that is that I what like you're looking it, to though. do? You're looking to have your backyard be your oasis. Yeah, well, I do try to spend a lot of time just doing fires and fucking grilling. That fucking it rules. Yeah, but I want to. I want to like take that to the next level. I want to make it nice. Yeah, dude, what are you trying to do? I don't know, man. Dude, let's get some fucking natural stone going. Some boulder yeah. gardens. Get some boulder gardens. Mm-hmm. That would be tight. Some yeah, raised we, beds. We had this. Uh, I got I got Mary Jo a uh, inflatable a Coleman inflatable hot tub that I'm gonna put back there. That's the move. Which it feels weird to tell people about. It feels icky because it sounds like. It sounds like you're saying a weird sexual thing. It's no, not. you're not. Dude. It's not. I, I'm with you, but that's some people's first response, and it's no, dude. It's not about that. This is about doing cool stuff in the winter. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna hold her in it though. You'll hold her in the hot tub. You guys will get some time where it's just yeah, we you saw our, we saw oh, our neighbors fucking. Really. Their hot You'll get tub. a boner in your hot tub. <laughs> yeah. There's gonna be some bumping and grinding in the hot tub. Yeah, no. I mean, it'll be a very oh. sensual night. Absolutely, cloudless. Not, we just gotta. We just gotta I'm not stars. like you guys. We just got a big bat. We just got a big See? bathtub. We got a big bathtub that we both fit in now. This is exactly what I was talking. And about. I just jam my boner. I guess I just get in there and I just yeah. go, oh fuck yes, mm. oh this is so fucking hot. I am so fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my Wolverine erect tank, dude. I just get underwater. So I'm gonna I'm gonna build like a little in, like half enclosure for it. Almost. Really? Yeah, like a nice a nice wooden thing for it. I'm really gonna All impress right. her with that and not get a boner. That's insane, bro. You're just building dude, headquarters no, for getting I'm your dick sucked. <laughs> you know dude, this is the sexiest Absolutely description of a piece of lawn not, a, improvement. No, this is you're just gonna get a second nice base in hot tub for sure. Do. I don't. <laughs> Did she say something to you? <laughs> Did she say something to you about it though? Dude, I, it's she actually no fainted. She was talking day. to Brittany and fainted the other no, day. She's like, I'm so, so fucking. Did hot. she seriously wait? Tell me what she said, dude. Hold on. <laughs> shut up. No. So shut which, up. let me hear the plan. So, inflatable. Yeah, like, uh, with like a I don't know, like a semi permanent wooden thing around it. It's gonna be tight. Even as just fuck, hang, even even just to hang like fencing on. Mm-hmm. You know, nothing serious. That'll be probably nice. poorly assembled enough that like a strong gust ruins property. A little setup, a little but, step up. But OK, then I'll do a nicer one. If it gets blown away, I'll just make the nah, this would be nice, dude. If you did a yeah. if you had a, if you left room for the access kind of th- if you had room to yeah. access it and fuck with it. But it's like you just build like a wood, like a little step up thing and some like trellis and a little thing around it. Mm-hmm. That would be chill as hell. Stain, you could stain it real nice, dude. That yeah. would be the shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dude, inflatable hot tubs changed yeah. the fucking game, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to put one on my roof deck. Just inflatable hot tub up there. I almost got it like half jokingly for her. And uh, when she saw it, she was like very genuinely excited. I'm like, I'm kind of shocked that you like it this much. Dude, my aunt and uncle very got pleased. one. Very pleased. My aunt and uncle got an inflatable hot tub and it, everyone was just like, this is the coolest shit in the fucking yeah, world. All They're all better than a regular winter. hot tub. All winter I'll be in. Oh, yeah, because you're like, I only paid $389 for this. I'm the smartest After all, it's fa- know what's funny, though? After it finally came out, what hot tubs were truly worth? People were paying like five grand for them. Like, man, oh, dude, they're yeah. truly worth three hundred bucks. Oh yeah, they're truly worth three hundred. When you get a th- you see a three hundred dollar hot tub, you're it's, like, I'll dude, take imagine that. Imagine being a, like a, a hot tub salesman now, dude. I used to work like with you're a hot wearing tub an salesman. old an old cheap suit to work, dude. Your hair's a little bit disheveled. Your comb over is like a little bit greasy, bro. I I worked with a oh, hot tub salesman. God. He had a stutter. <laughs> he had a severe stutter, oh, no. and he would just stutter in this hot tub office all day long. <laughs> well, I used to, I was building pools, and we would come in and like just sit in there, and we would see this guy stuttering in the hot tub office, blowing sales, and it was the oh, saddest fucking man. thing in the world. Yeah, that's pathetic. Yeah, yeah, it was. This was truly, and again, I say this in like a biblical sense. This was a truly pathetic man, and I feel bad looking back on. It. I'm like, man, this guy lived a life of just yeah. absolute torture. He was selling jacuzzis within the context of a failing pool business and stuttering the whole time. And he dressed exactly like he was constantly disheveled looking and yep. had like a way too big on of a suit. 
Especially oh, yeah. the oversized suit. That's that's someone who spends a lot of time at night just like looking at a gun on a coffee table. Yeah. How funny is it? I was like, I never did an ounce of grammar homework. I'm like, you know, a guy with a way too big size of a suit on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Why can't I talk? <laughs> yeah, that's suicide shit, man. Mm-hmm. That's suicide stuff. I, I've talked about this before. Slurping Matt and Shane, down dude. TV dinners. Dude, he yeah. had, this guy, this pool company I worked for, he, it was, it like, burnt deeply into my brain it was a guy is a failing pool business with like just like fucked up dude it was a f- like just an emotionally bankrupt area where the guy was losing all his money he was mean like shitty and abusive a failing like couldn't sell jacuzzis was the only guy you get to sell him had a stutter the dude who <laughs> split like the, the rental of the property with him was he got into internet porn sites and like like adult dating kind of like in the 90s, he got into this shit. Okay. Became a fucking millionaire. But he was like, that's your headquarters. This is mine. And was like, yo, bro, I'm investing in some high level shit. Give me five G's. And this is when this guy was doing well in the pool company. Give me five G's. I'll put you in as like my partner. We'll do this together. He's like, fuck off, dude. That's some weird gay shit. I build pools. And then he watched that guy literally, oh, dude. We would man. pull up and they would be doing, fo- they would be chicks in bikinis. Like he, he like <laughs> occupied like a barn. <laughs> <laughs> taking pictures of chicks with bikinis, he would crash. He would have gas-powered remote control cars and just speed them into walls and crash them and laugh. Like, this dude was having <laughs> as much fun as this possible. This is the movie Envy. <laughs> dude, yeah. literally. And yeah. we would pull up, like, dirty from, like, building a pool. This guy wasn't getting paid to finish. Oh. And he just had to watch this guy. And I, would, I was, like, 17 at the time, and I watched His house dude. is, like, getting incrementally bigger and bigger and bigger. Dude, like, he, you're adding on yeah. to He it. was shooting, like, softcore, like, like gentleman, like, pic- like, hot girl calendar pictures. This guy can't oh. even jerk off the internet porn. Man. Without seeing his handiwork. Or Bro. potentially oh, could have been a millionaire he could have been there taking pictures of the girls and instead he was like yelling at me for like putting my shovel down over like a fucking pit of dirt (laughs) (laughs) living in an involuntary lifestyle we were we were driving home one time all of us together we were like i remember i was driving his truck he was he had like pool equipment that he was like driving another guy in another truck and i was like as soon as i got home i could i could leave and i was going to the beach so I had to follow, I was like following him. He had like a trailer. He was going so slow and I knew the way home. So I like passed him and just went home, parked the truck and got my shit and left. Dude, I showed up Monday. He was like, fucking past me back there. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? He was like, you thought it was cool just to fucking blow past me in my truck and park before I got back there. I was like, oh, you said when we got back, we were done. He was like, yeah, but like you went right, you passed me. <laughs> like you thought it was cool. Yeah. And in my time, in the you time think like, that's okay to do. And I was like, what the fuck is this guy in talking? my truck? T- t- technically my truck to pass me in my truck. And I, was like, did yeah. you, I was like, did you want me to help you like unload it? He's like, no, you just fucking blew past me. Like, yeah, you wielded f- my own truck against me. <laughs> dude, <I would> be <laughs> like, What the fuck is That's this guy's like, problem? I like, I don't know. I can't even believe I have to say this, but you don't do that. Dude, I took yeah. off. I'm kind of like convinced. having to watch your own truck go off in the distance and just sitting there just like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> just grinding the steering wheel. <gasps> I mean, dude, as a All seven, right. 17 year old, you're telling me I'm ready to, like, as soon as you're done, you can leave. In my head, I'm like, I'm going to the beach as soon as it's done. It was like, I would have jumped into a wormhole. Yeah. I was you could I was as fast it was I pushed that machine to this like to its fucking limit. I was yeah. like, we're done, we get home. He's like, Yeah, I was like Okay, okay speed racer. <laughs> go well, go his, fast in other people's trucks much. Yeah, he was yeah. pissed. He was like genuinely fucking mad. He like didn't give me he, well, he was yeah. ticked. Yeah, he, was, he, was, he was watching his girlfriend laugh harder at your joke than he's ever seen her laugh. Mm. Could be, yeah. or he was. I think it was just more so he was watching that guy crash remote control cars with like fat jets <laughs> yeah. around him. And then here you like, come with your You shit. think you're fucking dude. better than me, yeah. dude? Oh my god. Dude, we would pull up and it would be just chicks like legs dangling out of a barn. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he would just be like He'd just be doing like loop to loops with an RC plane. Like, dude, can you believe that? They're dude, like, Yeah. We would get off this guy would be like, pull the straps off the bobcat, get inside right now. We gotta talk. And it would just be like, Can we just watch this guy have the time of his life? <laughs> he'd be like, Good in, we gotta have a meeting. And he'd be like, You guys fucking suck. And he'd be like, All right, man. We're not getting it done out there, guys. <laughs> yeah. All Dude, right. We would dig so we you know, you would dig it with a machine, but we had to like smooth the edges of a pool with a shovel. He would stand on the edge and literally be like Go, go, go. Why is your shovel? Why is your shovel not moving? Grab your foot. And like, dude, he would just fucking yell at us to proceed all day. Oh, dear wow. God. You've been mushed before. He would mush, dude, the, enti- the entire mushed. day. And I sat there for an entire summer, but like, I can't wait to quit. 
I was like, I need money for the beach, but I am going to save up money and fucking quit so hard on this dude. And <laughs> how'd, it, you, how'd you end up was, quitting? Yeah. I, 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 saved up, I saved up enough. I was like, I needed, I needed cash. I know, but was it, was it like a glorious? So, no, it was like I had, I was going away somewhere and I was like, I'm going to save up. But I, had, I was scrupulous with my money enough. So I had enough money for the boardwalk at the beach. So I was just like, I thought I had to work for an extra three weeks. And I was like, yo, bro, it turns out I'm good. And he was like, what do you mean? Because I told him it was over at the end of the summer. I ended like three weeks early. Yeah. But he had this fucked up bullshit pay system where it's like, we're going to hold your first paycheck and then you'll be on a week delay, which is always fucking, yeah. I've encountered that two different places. Yeah. And it's just a way to fuck people when they leave. Because by three weeks, I'm like, what week is, I don't know what's what. And I know that motherfucker held a paycheck against me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he held it. He held oh, like, like, oh yeah, this is the scam. first paper. You don't get your first paycheck. Right. It was yeah. bullshit, dude. And he did yeah. that to me. And okay. I, I had no idea how, it, I was 17. I couldn't figure out like what time of the day. Like I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. But I know. I, I think that's because like, if, if it's it's, a, that's because of teenagers. Like if, if you're like 16 years old and you get a job at a supermarket and after your first terrible, true. Week, you get like a hundred dollars, you're like, I'm retiring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it, make, it does make sense. It was like almost like a Ponzi scheme where he's like paying you with the money he owes you. It's fucked each up. Each week. But I remember it was to the point where I remember thinking like I knew he was fucking with my pay and I went, yeah. you can have that, bro. I've glimpsed your fucking hell. I'm about to go to Seattle City and have the time of my fucking life. <laughs> later, bro. Damn. I'm about to drink beer once all the adults fall asleep. I'll catch you later, bro. <laughs> that was the best, dude. My aunts and uncles would just pass out. They mm -hmm. would drink beer all day and pass out. There would just be a cooler of the coldest beers ever. And I would just be like, don't mind if I do with all my cousins really? and just have the most fun. Yeah. It was the best. Man, cool cousins rules. And they would come back. They would just come back. Like the next morning, they, my aunt one time like did the math and was like, there's no fucking way we drank this much beer. Yeah. Yeah. So then we, they, she found the empty beer cans and uh, put them up and they had a sign that said, who drank me? And we're all like, uh, yeah. fuck. Wow. Drinking beer. They should let you drink beer when you're 14 because that was like my favorite time drinking. Four, yeah. Being at the beach at 14 and just chugging cold beers was like the best. So much fun. When you had no physical repercussion to drinking like 12 beers. Drinking is great for children. It is, dude. I think children That's should drink. Children should drink early and ch uh, children should have kids early. You yeah. should totally get that out of the way when you're like, you should be under the supervision of your grandparents, but it should be like, get just get it out of the way physically and just... I swear to dude, Timothy Leary said this. Okay. He was like, We're we're fucking up. They we're we'll be our healthiest biologically if we have kids younger, but you would need the wisdom and guidance of a grandparent. So you yeah, you would okay. have like you would be like, I'm gonna have kids and kinda have like a freebie about it. My grandparents are gonna deal with this, but I gotta raise my my and it's it's cool though. It's like I know what I gotta do and everything's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm I mean, kind of tell you that. You're kinda of describing the black community. And Mexicans. Yeah. Yeah, but it kind of rules. Mm -hmm. It kind of rules if there's the implicit understanding of like this is what I'm going to do, and everyone's on that page. Yeah, well, white maybe it's white a fantasy. Grand, no, yeah, white no, grand, in the black community, it's a consequence. White, white, exactly. Grand, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. But if it was like we've thought about this, and this is what we should do, white grandparents are typically such a nuisance. They can be. Go. Well, how would you say? Like, there's horror movies about how grandparents are scary when you're white. Yeah, they can be manipulative. They can be. Like, oh, I, they can be like cruel. They can be. And like stone faced and like, you know, they resent, they resent your parents because everyone's parents did drugs and shit. So I only had one. I only, <laughs> <laughs> I only had. See, that's the thing. We yeah. all have different grandparent paradigms. I only had one living grandparent that I experienced, my grandfather. Yeah. But you saw like your friend's grandparents. I saw some I, real mean. I, I only saw. Yeah. You know what? I saw yeah. one of my friend's grandparents. and yeah. He was like mean to the, my friend's mom. Like mm -hmm. very mean to my friend's mom, and I remember being like, "Man, that's fucked up." When I got older, yeah. but dude, seeing a skinny, mean-faced old lady in like a shitty cotton dress, and you're just like, "Wow!" Every second around this person's gonna be that was hell. my cousin's yeah. grand. My and cousin's a, grandparent a was scary. Me. Like mothballs everywhere moth you balls went. Or my like, cousin's or like grandparent dog. would like wouldn't let this moment go by to remind you moth that like dogs. she survived the Great Depression and you're being a pussy. She'd yeah. be like, that's why you're being a pussy. Yeah. She'd be like, we ate fucking cakes made of lard. I remember her being like, we ate cakes made of lard. Someone was like, oh, I don't like this kind of cake. And she's like, I used to eat cakes of lard. <laughs> she was like, that's bullshit. And I remember just being like, fuck, man. I had one grandparent who all he did was drink Budweiser all day long. And he was like so chill about it, though. That's cool. Where would he post up? He just, recliner. Never, never. He had a recliner, TV, and then there was the cord phone right now. He could reach and grab it. Man. And everyone, you, as soon as we would get there, it would be like, 
He'd be like, go get me beer. You grab him a beer, but go to the top of my refrigerator. There's cookies. You grab a chair, stand on it, grab but, a tin of cookies. Oh my God. He dole out cookies. From when he was a child to then, the idea of having a recliner and a color television feels like Valhalla. You're That's, like, there's, I've yeah. ascended to the highest realm. I could not possibly imagine an outcome further from what I know. Dude, we went and saw, like, so he, he grew up in Ireland and left when he was wow. like 18. We saw where he lived and it was just like, Dude, it was in fucking, it, to, again, this is to me, as a kid seeing it, it was like, this was, in, he was in nature, dude. It was like, it was crazy. Yeah. Like, he would talk to me about, like, they would take chickens and break their necks and hang them upside you down. You imagine, like, a medieval village. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of what, yeah. My mom was like, it wasn't like that. I'm like, mom, that was a shack in the fucking woods. <laughs> yeah. She's like, no, it wasn't. I'm like, yeah, it fucking was. Dude. Yeah. I'm like, that dude was a Did wild Did you only man. see, like, old spooky black and white photos of it, too? I, I did, and then I finally went and got, dude, I would see pictures of, like, just kids like crying, dude. Just, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I saw the place and I was like, dude, Pop Up fucking lived here. And she's like, yeah. And I was like, what? Man. Damn. But then, yeah, he got to Upper Darby, Pencil, you know, Upper, Dar Upper Darby, Pennsylvania, and fucking, dude, he just hit the couch, fell in love with the Phillies, and just chugged wow. warm Budweiser's. And every time his grandkids came, he'd be like, here's five bucks, go buy yourself a cheeseburger at the corner store. Yes. And we'd be like, thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Dude, Come home, Chewy Chips Ahoy and a cheeseburger from the corner yeah. store. And he would just scream at the fucking Phillies and you'd just be like, this guy fucking rules. But I was terrified of his house. Yeah, my, my, dad, my mom left, I'd be like, where are you? Where the fuck are you going? Yeah. My dad grew up without a bathroom in his house. What? Yeah, he had this shit in an outhouse in a, in a box and wipe his ass with newspaper. <laughs> dude, to, the toilet Whoa. paper is considered like pussy for some old dude. Yeah, yeah. That's I, tight. I constantly... Let him know that my ass has never felt nothing but two ply. Really? He's yeah. like, Psh. yeah. He's been living like an alley cat. Basically. Yeah. Like he did all these, again, once he got fucking indoor plumbing in the 80s and shit, <laughs> he was like, this is all I need. No more. This is it. There's a guy near my house, apparently. I just learned this the other day. His water doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So he keeps buckets of water outside. And that's why I have so many, allegedly, that's why I have so many fucking mosquitoes outside my backyard. Ooh, this dude's got a bucket What system. an annoying problem. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's dude, it sucks. I would go bananas. Like, fix your... Oh, there's nothing worse than when that's your a, neighbors... That's a homeless person with inept. a home. He's elder. He's your an elder. ineptitude yeah. causes He's me a disruption. He's an elder. And it's like... He's nice enough where it's like, yeah, you could you could one phone call. You could That's when you start like wishing they would die. I remember when my when my old neighbor really got annoying, I was just like, please dude, take him. You no, know, it's funny. So we were sitting there the other day and someone so we were talking about the situation. It was, you know, sitting there with my bae and like two of her friends, and one of her friends was like, Do you ever wish someone would die? And they were both like, What the fuck is wrong with you? And in my head, I was like, Come on. I told yeah. them, I'm like, You've done it before. You yeah. wish someone died. And they're like, That's yeah. fucked up. And I'm like, Dude, I could do it for the most minor annoyance. And also be like, man, that's fucked up. I, and then you like stop. And you're like, no, no, for real. I, I, I wish that guy would rather live. But you're like, fuck, man. It is kind of funny to wish somebody die over the over a, a minor annoyance. Dude, I've had my darkest, like weird anti-fantasies. Where I'm like, if my entire family died in a car and everyone pitied me, I've sat there once before and be like, man, that would be sweet. <laughs> like, yeah, right. A level of that it would be sweet if everyone's like, let's take it easy on this guy. Yeah. yeah. Aww. <laughs> and then I instantly go, oh, I'm such a piece of shit. I truly don't want anyone in my family to die. But I'm like, but if they all did die at once, I would make that work. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would make yeah, it. You know, you, they would cut you some serious slack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what that's what you're fantasizing about. Not your family dying. You're fantasizing about being cut slack. Yeah, and, and it's like the ultimate slack cut. Well, I just want to like just have everyone in my world just die tragically to the point where I'm just skipping rocks against a pond and some girl just like grabs my hand and is like come on come with me and I'm like wow this sure is nice <laughs> <laughs> eating like fancy soups like this is nice like, where'd you find him he's like well his whole family died and he was skipping rocks and they're like oh let's just so you're it. completely feral at this point <laughs> yeah how are you dressed you got a full beard full dude beard? kind of a blousey tattered shirt yeah, kind of like yeah. a blousy tattered shirt and just like these pants. Like a shipwrecked just... pirate. <laughs> <laughs> like Huckleberry Finn. Yeah. I read Huckleberry Finn. And I was like, I want that guy's life. Uh -huh. I read that as a youngster and I was like, yeah, my family sucks. I want to be Huckleberry Finn. Wow. I want to sail the Mississippi. You... <laughs> but then I think about it and go, no, I love You are that. a real Huckleberry. I'll give you that. I was a Huckleberry, dude. I read Huckleberry Finn. I was like, that shit fucking rules. <laughs> and I was like, if my family were to go the way of a speeding car. <laughs> Dude, I think what we when I was when I was in grade school, I think we read like a chapter of Huck Finn, and they Did were you? like, "And if you're into that, you can whatever rate it. Who cares? It doesn't matter." 
Like they never followed through <laughs> on it. We never read books. <laughs> well, the teacher was probably like, "Why are we reading this?" Yeah, we never read books, and they showed us. Yeah, they showed you like a chapter or even like a paragraph of a book. And we're like, "Okay, here's a test on that paragraph." Yeah, you're like, what did you think about that? And you're and like, well, they, it was they it was just purely read reading comprehension. They'd be like, "Yeah, what color were his shoes?" It was the bare brown. Yeah. yeah, and you'd be like, yeah. "They'd be like, good." We would we, so we would read something. The next day, we would discuss it in class as a whole entire class, like what we read, and then we'd have to answer questions about it. So you could, I totally got away with not reading anything because we would talk about it a little That's bit chill. in class. And I'm like, if you can't answer these questions after being told the fucking answers, you're a retard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, nothing like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, dudes, I think we've hit an hour. No way. Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah. Let's do it. What a gentle send off. 